Hey automation learners, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. This is a self-learning RAG agent. Most RAG agents need a different workflow to push the data to the database. But this RAG agent will do everything in a single input. Right now we are using Telegram to talk to this agent, but the same Telegram will push the data to our database also. So you don't have to use another workflow to update the database. So let me show you how this RAG agent works. All right, this is our chatbot and we are using Telegram to chat with our RAG agent. So let's start chatting. Let's start with a simple hi. So I have got a reply. How can I help you? That's good. Now, before updating our database, I want to show you what our database is holding. So we have a database in Pinecon. And right now, the Pinecone does not have any data in the database. Now, we will update this Pinecone database using our Telegram. So whenever we will send any document or image, it will store the data in our Pinecone database. Then we can get or retrieve the data from here. So if you are a beginner, it may be hard to understand, but stick with me. I will explain everything as simple as possible. So let's get back to our agent again. And again, we are going to talk. Before talking, we will update our database. So we have two data here. We have a cookie policy for a website and also we have a screenshot. So if I open them, then as you can see here, this is a simple image that is holding YN18 for AI, something like that. And we have another cookie policy um, documents that is holding the cookie policy for a website. That's pretty much basic things, but we want to test it, right? Now let's send cookie policy here. And after uploading the cookie policy, we will get a notification saying we have successfully updated the database. So as you can see here, it says, congratulations, the document has been successfully added to the database. Now, if we check our Pinecone database and if we refresh it, then we will have our data here. So as you can see here, we have got the data. See, we have got the data here. It says cookie policy, legal section, here is the information. So our database is updated successfully. Now let's update the database with our image. So let's send the image to our chatbot. So let's upload the image here and it will be stored in our database in a moment. If it is stores, then we will receive a notification. So again, we are receiving congratulations. The document has been successfully added to the database. Now, if we refresh the database again, then we are having our new data. So here is the extracted information from the document. Why NI10 for AI, right? We have got the data. All right, we have successfully updated our database. Now it's time for checking the database or getting the data from our database. For that, we can ask for the cookie policy introduction. So. Uh, here in our cookie policy, we have got the introduction part, right? Now let's call this introduction part from our cookie policy document. So let's type like this. Give me the information for cookie policy introduction. So we have got the information. It says, okay, I have cookie policy in intro introduction for you. Cookie policy introduction, our website uses cookies to distinguish you from other users. Now, if we check the data with this one, then this is the same data we have got from our documents. And it's sending the same data as a assistant. Right now, let's check the data for our image. So our image is saying why N18 for AI, right? Now let's call the data. Give me the information for why N18 for AI. Right now we are asking for this data. Now it will send us this data. All right, we have got the information. It says here is the information on why N18 for AI. Main point, N18 provides a seamless straightforward route to getting started running AI locally. Okay, this is the same data we have given our AI agent as a image and it has stored all the data from this image to our database and it is now retrieving the data from our database. Pretty much simple. We can feed the data through our telegram and we can also call the data through our telegram. This is pretty much great, right? Now, let me show you how you can build this system for you. All right, guys, before starting to explain this workflow, I want to mention that if you want to download this workflow and save time, 
then join the community and also if you're total beginner and don't have NITN join the community we are offering free NITN hosting for all of our members so if you join the community you will get self-hosted NITN for life check the link in the description so we are using telegram trigger to receive the message now we can send different type of messages it can be document it can be image or it can be plain simple text now after getting the response we have to define what type of data it is if it is a text response then it will directly go to our ai agent and talk to it if it is a document then it will go to another route to parse the document and store in our database and finally if it is an image then it will go to image route and image route will break the image and store into our database that's pretty much basic simple logic now to implement this logic we have to use different tools and that is what we do right all right so we are getting the response from our telegram then we are breaking it down what type of data it is if it is image let's check for image route so we are checking if it is image inside the swiss document we are uh, we have three rules the first rule is if it has a file id that means it's a document then it will go to this route second we have image route if it has a image then it will go to this route and the third rule will be if it is a simple text then it will go to the text route so let's say we have got a response that has an image now the image will be processed through this route first of all we are downloading the image so this is the telegram download node this node will download the image from the server then it will change the extension now this problem i only see with telegram node i try to use google drive and there was no problem using google drive uh, getting the file downloading the file and using directly to vision ai but whenever i'm using telegram it has a lot of problems telegram file does not have any extension type so i'm getting errors about the extension so it not defining what type of document it is that's why we need to use a code note to define what type of document it is so inside the code note we have used some code that is defining that this document is an image and it has an extension of png or jpg right now after defining the extension we are sending the data to an ai agent and the ai agent has access to a vision ai or vision capability ai in this term we are using google gemini google gemini 2.0 we are sending the binary data of that image to google gemini and asking it to break it down the image so if we check our command then as you can see that it says extract all the information from the document now if we are sending any image to this vision agent then it will send the binary data to google gemini and google gemini will send all the information it has or the document or image has then it will send the data to our pinecon now pinecon will push the data to its database here we are using pinecon and the operation is insert document now we are inserting the document to our pinecon and here we are just selecting our pinecon database or index and then we are selecting our namespace so in this term my pinecon database namespace is rag agent you have to define it because if you don't define it then it cannot be done sometimes it may make error so it's better to define the namespace Alrighty. after pushing the data to pinecon then it will go to the mars node now we can close this route here it also works because the database is already updated but if you want to get a notification then you have to go to this route because it will merge all the documents now we are using a set node and we are giving the information from the pinecon database and pinecon database if run successfully or sending any data then we are using a set node to sending the output to the next module so it's simply just telling us if this is successfully executed then 
send a output the schema name will be output and the output will be document has been successfully added to the database and we are sending the same message as the output to our router this is the router that will take three responses or three routes in a single form and then it will send only one route that is working so in this time let's say we have got the response from image image is successfully bro broken down and the data is successfully updated to our database now we are sending the response from our set node yes we have got the data now send the response to our AI agent and then the set node is sending the data to our AI agent yes the data has successfully been uploaded to our database now we have commanded to our AI agent and telling it if the user input says document has been successfully added to the database then congratulate the user right so when this route is executing then the only message our AI agent is getting is yes the data is successfully added and then the AI agent is congratulating to our user now let's go for the text route the second route is text route now if the user send only text document then it will go to the middle route that is text route now if we say receive any text response then it will also make the response to a simple output that will say output why we are using output because if we don't use output as a schema name then it will get messed up why it will get mixed up because if you use different type of input from different nodes and if the node is not executed then you will get an error so in simple term if we are sending any text response then it's directly going through this route then these nodes are not executed these nodes are also not executed so if you map any data from these nodes to our ai agent or from here if you map any data from this agent and if the node is not executed then you will get an error the AI agent will ask you to execute the node first but you cannot execute them because the user is not sending any data or any document to fix the problem we have used a constant output that will say the output so we are using the set node here every three route will come here and it will say yes the output is the same output the name will be the same so we are using the set node to map the data constantly so we are sending the data as a output for every route whatever i'm saying it may get messed up for you but it will be clear just stay with me all right we have done completing our text route it's pretty much simple just getting the text from directly to our telegram and then sending the data to our ai agent and ai agent will analyze everything and we have commanded our ai agent that if user ask anything or any query then you have to call pinecone to get the data so all the data is available in pinecone so whenever user will ask any data then we have a pinecone tool so it will call the pinecone database and it will get the data from pinecone now let's check our document processing that was for this route was for image processing now let's check for document processing now again we are just receiving the data or downloading the data or document then we are adding the extension again telegram node is having a problem when downloading the data directly and the mime type is missing that's why we are using a code node to add the mime type after getting the data we are not using any other ai here we are just pushing the data directly to our pinecone so we are just linking the code node to our pinecone and the data or document is directly going through our pinecone database now the pinecone database is successfully uploaded again we are using the same thing that is here is the output name will be output and the message will be document has been successfully uploaded now after uploading them sometimes it may send two or three responses from pinecone to avoid that we are just limiting it here we don't want to send 
multiple uh, messages to our AI agent. That's why we are using, yeah, we have updated the database and this is the message. That's why we are just limiting the data here. And finally, this is our AI assistant. This assistant is pretty much nothing without these tools. This is the simple command is running from the user. So this agent is having a little bit of information. It says you are an expert assistant. The simple assistant and all the information is stored on Pinecone called the Pinecone database if you need any information or if the user is asking for any data. And also, if you receive any user input that says document has been successfully added to the database, then congratulate the user. That's pretty much basic thing. And according to our command, if user asking for any data, it will call Pinecone database and Pinecone database will send the data to our AI agent and AI agent will send the data to directly to our telegram. All right, after AI agent, we are sending the response directly to our telegram. But before sending the response, we have added a code note because sometimes our database or AI agent add some sign or extra words that is not possible to send through telegram because of their restrictions so to solve the problem we are just sanitizing the data we are using the sanitized version because we want to ignore the errors that's pretty much it and that's how the automation works now again if you want to download this workflow and follow alone check the link in the description join the community and get a lot of benefits including live build of this automation so how i have built this automation you can check that in the community so for learning purpose that is a great opportunity watching me live build projects so check the link in the description join the community it's only nine dollar per month and for nine dollar you are getting a lot of values again if you don't have n self-hosted n join the community you will have your own self-hosted version of n we are offering this for every members of our community thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one